Hey geeks, before we get started, make sure to do your boy a favor, like, subscribe, leave some comments on the video, let me know what you want to see in the future, and make sure to check out our giveaways playlist because we got some great giveaways coming up. Ooh, let's build a figure over a few months, because that's fun. Alright folks, here with Batman Beyond from McFarlane DC Multiverse. This is a Target exclusive. There is another version that's coming out that's going to be available at Target as well and through other fan channels. But if you want to collect a build, the, what is it, the Robot Joker Batman crazy guy? Oh, imagine that, another Batman figure. You're going to have to get this one. Of course the pre-order sold out immediately and basically the only way to get it now is on the aftermarket. I have seen one or two people walk into a Target and pick one up, but I mean, it's, it's very rare. I've checked all the Targets within 50 miles of my house. Nobody has them in, nobody's got them coming in. So anyway, let's go ahead and check this guy out. On the side, you got the peekaboo window and the name of the toy. Other side, you got a bigger name of the toy. All right, back of the box, instead of a portrait, it has an actual picture of Batman Beyond with the collect to build figure. And it's actually pretty cool. I like that better than the uh, artwork cards. And down at the bottom where it says collect them all, they have the other three figures hidden as if we don't know what they are when they've already announced them. So I don't know what that's about. Peek a window at the top. And the barcode, but I don't know what you're gonna do with it. Because they're impossible to find. Collectible card. McFar stand. Useless backdrop. Oh, they got the picture here instead of the portrait as well. Terry McGinnis was just an ordinary teenager until his father was mysteriously killed. Suspecting foul play, Terry meets an older, bitter Bruce Wayne and learns a secret hidden for decades. When Bruce refuses to help, Terry steals and dons a high-tech, tricked-out bat suit in a quest to avenge his father's death as Batman. Batman Beyond, all caught up in his cage. You see he's got alternate hands for throwing his beyond a rangs. Yeah, I just made that up, copyright. Batman Beyond booty shot. FYI, when you're releasing the hostage from captivity, because you know how McFarlane likes to tie these things up in there, uh, the rotator cuffs or the butterfly joints, moth joints or whatever, they just fall right out. So. Depending where you open it, be really careful because like where I am in my basement, I have a lot of shells and one of them rolled under there. I had to move the shell to get it out. So be aware, they're just going to pop out and fall all over the place. Oh, and anyway, yeah, here's the Katupuba piece. Got the Beyond the Rings. They're identical. And the alternate hands. Ooh, Beyond Baby. So he's sleek, I like him. Um, the finish on the paint, the black, is matte. I know that in the cartoon his outfit is not really shiny and reflective, but I wish they'd gone somewhere in between. Um, I think this would be really sleek if it had kind of a gloss look to it. Uh, closer to what the recent Nightwing had that they uh, did in this line. So, But that's not a complaint, just a preference. But he looks good. Um, proportions look pretty decent. He's slim, like in the cartoon. I'm glad that they didn't make him bulky, so so that gives it one extra point. And looking at those wings in the back, those holes, they actually um, click on to the back of his forearms. And for a second, I thought they were for his weapons. It took me a second to figure it out. All right, let's get a close-up. All right, so what about that head? Face is sleek and svelte. I like it. I like that they didn't cut short on the ears. They're nice and long and they point straight up at the sky. That red on black on his chest looks good. The red really pops off. 
paint looks clean. I thought there was some sloppy white speckling under his neck, but it's just a reflection of my spotlight. And his waist and abs are sick. Makes me want to go do a workout. Nothing much to see down low. Everything's all black straight down to the toes. Belt looks good. That silver paint, uh, they did a pretty good job on it. There's a little bit of silver bleed on some of the squares, but it's not noticeable unless you zoom in like I'm doing now. And there's a look at the wings. Articulation 360 with intermittent clicks. Great tilt to the left. Great tilt to the right. Looking beyond. Looking down. Way down. Chin's buried deep in his chest. Say it with your chest, boy. All right. 360 with the arm all the way around. Do. He does have the baby moth joints. You see he gets beyond 90 degrees with his arm. You see he's reaching back behind his head. Nothing fancy with the range coming in. As you can see on this side, there's still a gap between the bicep and the chest. But on the back side, you do get a little bit of way back. It's going a little bit further than in parallel with his back. Looks like we got us a bicep swivel. Yep, anything on the forearm? Nope. Do get a repulsor blast, but be careful. It starts to come off the peg a little bit if you push too hard. Actually, I stand corrected. The peg was already out a little bit, so that's what you get. No repulsor blast, it only tilts up a little bit. Hold my hand. Kiss the ring for sure. It also comes with this gripping hand. You can see the angle in is pretty steep when you have that hand on. I can hug myself. McFarlane, give me that smooth, oh yeah. Oh yeah, stir it like coffee. Lean back with just the abdominal rocker. A little bit further back when you get the waist involved. Lean forward with just the abdominal rocker. It really doesn't lean forward that much. When you bring the waist articulation to the party, it goes a little bit deeper forward. Leaves a gap in the back too. You can lean with it, rock with it. The forward bend. I can see your underwear. Not kicking in any doors, but you can sure kick a can if he's angry. Oh man. Leapfrog Champion 2021. Range going backwards. He does kick his butt, apply a little pressure. Wings kind of get in the way, but you can get past it. Double jointed knees let you check out the prance. No thigh or calf swivel. Straight leg McGee. Busting dance moves all day. Best moonwalk yet. <laughs> Articulated tizos included. 360 on the foot on that ball joint. And the foot can move independently of the joint so you can get all kinds of weird angles. Be careful. The peg on my McFar stand snapped right off. So he actually comes with those gripping hands. That's one of them right there to hold the batarang. But I found that the hand he ships with, the little claw hand, can actually hold it too. I don't, it didn't work for a throwing motion, but just to hold it off to the side as if that's up next, it actually works. So they didn't show that in the promo shot, so I thought I'd show you that just in case you wanted to have him holding too. So he looks really dynamic, I dig him. So the only downside to him, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the matte black. I wish he was a little bit shinier. And I wish he had more articulation in the legs. I wish he had some kind of swivel in the thighs or the calves. But um, in this figure, with him being so svelte and slim, he's still poseable and he looks really dang good. So I'm not really going to complain. I'm going to go ahead and take what I got. So I'm going to go ahead and clip on those wings and see what he looks like when he's in flight. So right on the back of his forearms, you have this extended piece right here. That's what goes into the slot.
Okay, so there he is, Batman Beyond, McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do your boy a favor, make sure to like this video by hitting that thumbs up button. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you can see when all my videos come out. It really helps the channel. Let me know in the comments, do you think this one does it? Are you skipping this bath altogether because it's spread out? Are you going to try and get the wide release version that comes with, I believe he has a mouth on him, and he also comes with a flight accessory stand. I'm going to grab that one too, so when it comes out, I'll make sure to do a comparison video for you. Alright guys, till next time, make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for all the support. Geek out.